Welcome back, fans, to HWA Adrenaline. We are here at the HWA Arena, where tonight it will be my bloody Valentine. One of those matches this evening will be a mixed tag team matchup, as you will see HWA television champion Ganger team up with Nevea as they take on Bad Attitude Brian Beach and our guest at this time, Hardcore Heather Owens. Heather, you've certainly had a storied past with Nevea. Bring us up to date on how things got to this violent, brutal point with you and Nevea. Well, I wish I could really explain what happened between us. You know, we started out a little over, you know, about a year ago, and I had her back, she had mine, you know, we had, you know, really good matches against each other's, but, you know, it was very friendly, and I really don't know what happened. I don't know if the Irish Airborne or Guffman maybe got in her head, but she just doesn't seem like the same Nevea that I knew about a year ago. And this has been a particularly brutal confrontation on a number of occasions between you and Nevea. You've sustained some injuries, and yet you keep coming back for more. Why? I, I really can't answer that question. You know, you know, she's she's really hurt. She's broke my tooth. She's bruised my jaw. She, you know, bruised my entire body. But it's just it kind of enrages you. Yeah, you know, I I can I have a high pain tolerance, but this you know this is really aggravating me. Each week I come back, you know, and yeah, she she can, you know, get her little hits in or whatever, but she will get hers. I can promise that. Well, you may have the opportunity tonight. You have Bad Attitude Brian Beach backing you up. Mm -hmm. Of course, she has on the other side backing her up the HWA television champion, Ganger. Uh, you've dealt with a lot of the HWA superstars as a referee. Now, Heather, you've stepped between the ropes to be a competitor. Why would you want to make that switch and become hardcore Heather Owens and become one of the HWA's toughest female competitors? Well, I think the women, you know, there really are no women in the division. So I'm here to... Uh, no, wait a minute. What's going on? I don't know. Excuse me. Well, Excuse you. We're in the middle of something. What are you doing? Uh, an interview. An interview? Yes. Uh, raise your hand out there in TV land if you care what Heather Owens has to say. Oh, come on. Oh, not so fast, TV land. Get out of here. They care about what I have to say, oh, not what you have they? to say. They do. Oh, Take your old navy, please. Man. Hit the bricks. Oh, all right. Well, here's come on. something better. Goodbye. Come on. Goodbye. Better. Done. Leave. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, apparently oh. now we're going to be joined here at the broadcast Thank position you. by the Motown Mauler, uh, Kai Nura. Uh, how are you uh, doing? Welcome to the uh, broadcast. And I thank you. It seems to me, Chimera, wherever there is violence in the HWA, you are directly in the center of it. D the center of it, the epicenter of it is me. Do you know what the epicenter is? The epicenter is the center of an earthquake where everything else reverberates out of. Anything that's violent that happens in this company, you better believe that I'm at the center of it. I, don't, I didn't get into, into professional wrestling for money or girls or fame. I got in it for the blood sport. And that's what I care about, and that's why I'm here. Well, this past Saturday, I guess we would have to call it a, uh, a setback for the Motown Mauler, wow. losing that tables match in Owensville, Ohio, at the Claremont County Fairgrounds to Bad Attitude Brian Beach. I will give credit where credit is due. Brian Beach definitely got the best of me in Owensville. However, do not say it was a setback, because Brian Beach is one hell of an athlete. He has tested me more than any other opponent in my entire career, more than the Buffalo Bad Boy, more than Rory Fox, more than Sean Osborne, Brian Beach is taking me to the limit. However, you're forgetting that I won the match of World War III in the hardcore hell. So, while Brian Beach has talked to the office and he is taking some personal time away from our little tete-a-tete -tete to heal up and, and deal with family issues, I have nothing but respect for that because I want his best. Don't call it like he's... Don't, don't say that he's uh, ahead of me because as far as I'm concerned, on the scoreboard, it's tied. Well, with Beach temporarily out of the picture, what's next for Chimera? What is in your future? What, what's in the, what, what is in the future for me is nothing but the absolute best. I have wallowed in mediocrity for the last year. I have wrestled those who should not even be able to lace my boots. I want nothing from this company other than the best. I have proven without a shadow of the doubt that I am bulletproof. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can contain me. I don't care who you are. If you have that heavyweight title belt, if you're part of the five most wanted, if you're JT Star, if you're Buffalo, if you're John Moxley, if you're Chris Carnage, 
I don't care. Bring anything you want, but make sure you bring all you got because I'm coming for you. Well, certainly, kind mayor, this interview time wasn't planned, but we thank you for stopping by. You're very welcome, Tim Tatum. Mr. Preston, thank you. But we'll be back with more information about tonight's My Bloody Valentine and the road to Cyberclass 2.0 here on HWA Adrenaline.